Um, let's go ahead and get started, man. So tonight we're going to run some more missions. And um, we are going to try to make some money, get our R&D building, get stuff researched, and start doing some more stuff. Um, I, I want to get some refueling set up for Minmus, etc. Uh, probably just have a simple fuel station in orbit um, and some kind of craft to do runs down to the surface and bring up ore or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, it should be fun, man. We're going to get that done um, and start building more permanent vehicles for things. We've already kind of got the Jeff rocket and the Grav Express rocket. Um, and those will, those will hold us over for a little while. Uh, but we're eventually going to outgrow those too. Um, but we also are going to need smaller rockets anyway for some of the closer quicker contracts so let's see what we got uh going on today what's up what's up <laughs> what's up team man hope you're doing good buddy i saw that over in sirius's discord alucard that's awesome man that's good i was talking to somebody on the phone today and uh he just did a new build and managed to score a 3090 after not a lot of effort. <laughs> you, dude. Oh, well, I guess we already have a bunch of contracts. Uh, so let's go ahead and do those. So we have temperature measurements on the surface. So we'll have to land near this area. No problem. Plant the flag, space them around, and dock. That's right. So with this crewed mission, let's take out this 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 crew we're gonna have them slap a docking port onto something in orbit of fitness um and then something else is gonna come dock to it later doing fantastic sucking at rendezvous right now yeah what 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 specific parts are you having problems with there is that thing we had in the starting screen. I believe we might actually have something with a docking port there already. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, we do. Okay, so we can just totally send something to this and do that. Now, actually with the crew... Huh. With the crew, we might even just be able to knock out the docking, like come dock to this thing and then have the crew go down to land, you know, wherever. Let's do that. I didn't realize we had a docking port, a little craft. Back and look at this. I don't think this needs to be a new vessel. Contract, dock two separate vessels. Not just send up something, undock it from itself and redock it, that's the deal. These would be nice, but these aren't going to be anywhere near um, the current uh, situation. We can take this. This is all crew report above certain areas. That's like farming some cash for sure. Oh, this would be nice. It's a new probe though. Okay. Um, okay here we go. It doesn't say anything about new necessarily, so we can use the, the satellite that's already there and then with the crew mission just go dock to it real quick. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, the docking script handles this. Let's check it out. I think it was this guy right here. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Um, number one, we don't have RCS on this thing, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, yeah, I didn't realize we did. Okay, we're gonna have to get some RCS and see how it fares with the docking script. I'm very curious to see how it does. We'll run the docking script on it, but I'm not certain how well it's gonna go because it'll be not really like a standard RCS situation in terms of placement and translational port and all that stuff. So. I think that's fine. 
Yeah, no, I think that's fine. That's 1700 Delta V, not bad. The stupid freaking fairing bug. Double check all our staging. We'll add some launch clamps too here in just a second. Staging is all good. Yeah, that's plenty for our Minmus mission. Cool. Yeah, and we'll just dock with that to the thing that's already there. Bad. Bad. Oh, but this is the Mark 1. What happened to our Mark 2 lander? Let's just save this. We had a Mark 2 lander. Lander 2C, here we go. Here we go. I was wondering why that looked weird. This is what I'm talking about. Dude, the thing about this is plus Delta V overall from the last one. It is a chunkier lander. After all. Hmm. And it doesn't have the docking port. Of course, that's easy to add. That one. Might just more booster this one. Add two more of each. Add two more of these is what I meant. Anyway, um, that should all be good. With the balloon. We'll have to give this one the RCS treatment as well. We want to send down two crew. More. Yeah, exactly. What you up to, J Dog? That's going back in for for a lot of you guys now, isn't it? We got those two. Then we need to do some more control up here. some docking ports. What do you mean by fast pace, J-Dog? Be specific, because that can mean a million different things, right? I'm assuming it means something very specific. Oh, that puts us over mass allowance for the pad. Of course it does. I'm just being overly cautious. We're okay with the margins. I just like having extra rather than being on the thin edge of what's possible. So that's fine. We're good. Let's just double check all of our auto struts. Ooh. Gonna root those guys here. Gonna root this one here. And we're gonna root this one up here. And we're good. So, um, Valentina and Bill, I feel like are the ones that we wanna go. Or maybe Bob, probably Bob. Probably Bob. Let's uh, real quick though. Let's go check. Um, I, I forget what upgrade we need for surface samples because if we can do that, we might as well send Bob or whoever the scientist is. Uh, what building is it? Oh, it's the R&D building. Okay. 
Um, we can take this contract. You can take it. But then we've only got 113,000 remaining, which is a couple of flights. So if one fails, we're really cutting the bleeding edge. Let's do it. Let's do it. So now we can do surface samples. Um, so we're definitely taking the scientists on that, absolutely. Let me see Jeff. So we got to take Bob. Bob! Okay. Okay. Go. So we can do about two flights. But this this one will make us a ton of money, so that's fine. That is more than fine. Go make some money, man. Since we've got the pilot that's high level, we can, I feel okay using MechDev here. So let's do that. Kind of what I was waiting on. Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> uh, what's the ETA for service, man, on that thing? Hopefully not too long. Nice prograde gravity turn. We yaw a little bit. We yawed a tiny bit off the pad. Let's correct that, and we're good. Okay. Are you misspelling trial, or is it actually called a trail? Good. Made to pitch up a little bit. We're going way too fast, too low in the atmosphere. Yeah, you've been saying trail this whole time, but I don't know if you mean trial. But this whole time you've been saying trail. This is like when someone's got like something on their face and you don't tell them, you know? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, man. I can forgive you, though. Okay. Okay. You've only ruined my experience of it, but, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. Gonna cry on some rocks. What? What? What is this cry on rocks thing? What the hell is that? I got some rocks. Well, it can't be moon rocks because you still haven't watched First Man, so. Kind of related in a way. Excuse me, what? What? Thomas? <laughs> what? That's, that's, you're not supposed to be on. Be quiet. Nope. 
Nope, nope, no sound. You were off. I told you to stay off. Go away. And here we go. We'll burn for a min miss. We'll go have a grand old time. That's Discord pinging you. Oh, it was? Nice. That it was. You are correct. Oh, actually kind of related. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not what I expected. Not at all what I expected. All right, let's go out the mid this. So we'll get this initial burn done and somewhere along the way, we'll do a um, some sort of maneuver to make sure we come in at a good you know, angle of the dangle for the target satellite we want to dock with first, which is in a polar orbit, and from there we can just lower our orbit and go to the targeted landing site. No problem. And here we go. Fast forward through the burn. I can see why these, these burns leaving, um, these burns leaving for Minmus are expensive because it's doing the Minmus plane change in the same burn. If we were to do that later, after we burn away from Earth or Kerbin, it would save us some Delta B, but we're not doing that. Okay, this is our target. Did you know 2022 is closer than 2020? Wonderful deduction, Watson. <laughs> Did you know 2020 never existed? That is correct. That is correct. Doing some RCS right now to bring this over. What does this say the ascending note is? It's uh, okay. Not not great. <laughs> it's not great. And funnily enough, we almost get an intercept right there. <laughs> Isn't that something? All right, let's go out a little bit, and we'll uh, we'll do a burn as we get relatively close, and uh, make that nice, presentable. Okay, so we want that ascending node to be basically zero, or cl as close to it as we can make it reasonably. If there's 20 degrees, 21 degrees, so if we do that, um, and then at the node, we'll do a plane change and make some maneuvers and stuff, and we'll, we'll make it. That's fine. That's actually pretty good. That's probably as close as we're going to get it, honestly, because there's not really going to be a better way to cross into the orbit. Yeah, let's have it execute that burn. Jesus Christ, Thomas. No. No. Also, what the hell was that after all, man? Like, that was... That seemed out of character. Even for someone as eccentric and weird as Elon. Like, the random cat girl thing on stage for the Cybertrucks. Like, what the hell was that, man? I still don't get that and why that happened. Yeah, you would, Alucard. <laughs> yeah, you would. Man, I probably should have looked at researching some science parts to do on the surface, but it is what it is. Be interesting to see what we have after this uh, flight is over. Give me Elon, I need it. So there's a bit of phrasing there, Thomas. Don't want to know what you're in.
Uh, I screwed this up. Let's start over. <laughs> Let's start over. Do that. And let's do some of this. With our node, here it is. Not bad right there. Uh, it could use some radial. Give it to this action. Yes, and that should give us some nice phasing to get a decent rendezvous. So, okay, that's good. That's good. I'm good with that. Let's warp into the Minmus system and then we'll have it target the bird and do it. Our node is 0.1 degree away, so we're that's that's a pretty good approach. It'd be interesting to see how this pretzel rock YouTube safe button does for tonight's to upload to YouTube when we get that on there. Only one song got claimed off the Harris Heller playlist that we did last time, which was supposed to be built specifically for YouTube and Twitch, so um, that's a lot more dependable. I can do one per video, that's fine, but having to do like 20 or 30, like I was having to do, was not good. I'm, I'm interested to see. Nice. Okay. So now we just got to wait for a good rendezvous opportunity. No, no, no. I did not tell you not to target it. Well, we'll wait a couple of orbits until we get something pretty close and then maneuver to it. See, it's such large phasings every time. Oh, that's not a bad one. Although we're gonna ruin it right here in just a second. Um, I feel like we can maneuver to hit that one. That's a far approach right now, but we could definitely fix that with a fine tube closest approach burn. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And we'll have to do a um, 12 meter per second burn on rendezvous, but that should be fine. SpaceX repurpose BN 2.1, ex explain? What? Yeah, explain that, please. Grab, what's up, Warlock? How you doing, buddy? Six, five kilometers, four, three, two. We're one, a couple hundred meters away. Let's get that and then we're good. You guys will get to see the docking script in action, but it'll be sort of an edge case actually because I don't know how it's gonna handle this, something like this. This is like not a standard RCS configuration for docking. So uh, I'm excited to see how it does. So great, sounds good, man. On a concrete stand with pipes going into it. What? Hexagon is bestagon, J Dog, by the way. Hmm. That's interesting. Like a fuel tank, that is accurate. It is what it is. I said about my octon, I said hexagon is bestagon, is what I said. Obviously. Hexagons are the best of guns. Exactly! Chivo, this is why you belong here. <laughs> I mean, you're also cool and stuff, but you know, but... But you know, you know. How you doing, Chivo? Welcome in, buddy. Perfect. Now, let's go to target. Octagon for the win. All right, we'll slow down when we get within like 100 meters and then I'll set it up for the docking script. Go from there. I 
Hexagon, Vestagon. Um, I feel like J Dog's video choice is gonna be pretty meme. -y. The truth be told, I'm lost on KOS. What do you mean? Like having a hard time figuring it out? I have also found it hard to figure out. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's been a ch it's been challenging to learn. I found like Python and shit easier, <laughs> to be completely honest. But uh, now that I've kind of done some of it, I, I sort of am starting to get it. Oh, that's all in the KOS documentation, man. That's all there. I found all of it there. You might you might be missing it if you're not seeing it there. Oh, is it not letting me do it because I don't have a connection? But I have Kerbals. I have Kerbals on board. Oh, that should do it, actually. Okay. Just, let's do a quick save, quick load cycle. I think that's what we need here. That should, should be the key operand there. Let me do what I need to do. Yeah, it's still, okay, so that's weird. It's not letting me access or do anything because it doesn't have a connection because I didn't understand this interesting okay okay i wonder if that's something i can change in the save file real quick and just reload it real fast let me go check probably some value i can go just edit real fast i didn't realize that what that option was because if i have a kerbal on board I, they should be able to run it in my opinion Let's go see. Ah, yeah, that's there. I literally found it right there. Let's give this a shot. Just editing uh, the save file real fast. Change it over to permit all. That should allow me, hopefully, do what I want to do with actual crew on board. If I don't have a connection, period, and I'm, I don't have crew, then, then fine. But if I otherwise have control, I should be able to do that. Do good lurking before going to bed. Being on the East Coast isn't the best for watching West Coast streamers on weekdays. That's true. But I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Excuse me. Oh, that was disgusting. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Yeah, okay. It's letting me know. We're good. We're good. So the permit all connectivity manager is what I needed, not the comnet one. I wish it would, like, realize that I had Kerbals on board, you know? That would be, you know, like, a sensible thing to do. Okay. Run docking. I am interested to see how this weird craft handles this. It's oscillating a little bit around it already. But it is, it is burning towards it, getting up to the targeted one meter per second. I'm used to watching VODs. Nice, yeah. We upload them to YouTube, man. I, I post to Discord whenever we uh, get them uploaded to YouTube and stuff. So if you miss one, you can watch it there. It helps It helps more to watch it there than, than on Twitch. YouTube has much better discoverability, etc. You're on Discord, I think, Chivo. So you'll, you'll see the postings there.
and it helps too like even if you've already seen the stream or like you've already been here during that stream it helps just to open it up and and mute the video not the video player but the the tab just so i get the analytics from it so okay it is actually handling this perfectly like it, it's handling this perfectly so we draw an arrow coming out of the target docking port 50 meters out what the craft first does is it takes it gets a one meter per second vector to the end of that arrow stops flips around to the target and then moves in and so far it's doing it perfectly it is doing exactly what we want because we're controlling from that docking port and that docking port is facing right at that vector so now it's slowing down to half a meter per second our method of approach yeah so what i'm going to do warlock is eventually eventually it's going to have like collision detection and this will just be the end of the fi the final final docking script this is just a bare bones like let me learn kos you know and then it's going to draw its own vectors to figure out the most efficient path and stuff and yes i will probably reduce it beyond 50 to closer to like 25 or 15 or, or 20 or whatever but um I need to learn more of the collision detecting, detection stuff because you can detect the, the bounding box of vessels. So I feel like there's probably like a vector draw kind of method to detect and draw approach vectors to safely get to the docking for it. You know, I, I feel like there's going to be, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, now we're, we're down to 0.4 meters per second. And it's doing all the little translation uh, X, Y stuff to keep the prograde marker exactly where we're pointing. So the vessel's pointing the correct direction. But the most challenging part was actually, um, the most challenging part was to make sure the vessel's prograde marker, its actual movement vector is where I'm pointing, AKA translation during docking. So um, getting it pointed to the docking port that is the target is easy. It's making sure it's following the vector that you're pointing. It's tough. Um, is it smart enough to use RCS intelligently in firing individual thrusters? Do you mean individual XYZ or like actual individual thruster pods on the craft? Yes, it can do individual thruster pods on the craft. It's a bit of a crazy method. You have to go and programmatically detect which ones you want to fire, but see now it's stopped for relative zero meters per second. It's gonna point at the docking port, wait 15 seconds, and then begin turn terminal approach. Individual pods, yes. Um, the commands I'm using leverage all of the RCS on the craft. Although um, there are ways to, like there is a, there's a method that lets you pull and generate a list of every RCS pod on the craft. And you can then iterate it over the list and do stuff with it. So. Uh, and you could then turn on and off individual thrusters as needed. So now we're building up our speed for the final approach. It depends on what you need, Warlock. Depends on what you need. We seem to not be pointing directly at it for some reason. I'm curious why. I wonder if the the satellite's rotating somehow. Yeah, we're not coming in straight. Well, it whatever it thinks its prograde is, it's going perfectly. But as far as hitting the target correctly, it's not doing. I wonder why. So it's gonna go recursive and break the script. I think for that. Yeah, I wonder why that happened. I wonder why that happened. Uh, that is a little weird. Well, the funny thing is now, um, that craft doesn't have a connection. <laughs> so it's, uh, the 
this is going to be a challenging dock because it's now rotating and moving. We might want to rot uh, warp until that thing does get a connection. That way we can lock its steering. Let's just lock steering at this thing now. I'll point it at the target. Then we'll just come in with the target. I really don't know. Maybe it was um, weight distribution of craft. No, no, no. No, it's it's targeting the exact docking port. So why it locked on to something a couple of two pairs above the docking port and stuck with that. And it did target. It did keep its prograde exactly where it wanted to. But it just wasn't targeting the right vector. So, let me come in. We'll, we'll do a little bit more of this. Let's try this again. We'll see how it does. I don't know what, what it was before. Got it. Okay. So our target needs to be the actual docking port. The script shouldn't have run if it wasn't the actual docking port. But maybe I did some air handling in a certain way to prevent that i don't know but that is now the actual docking port or the actual target let's run the script I'm curious now i gotta see this happen again approach it wants to get into like a certain roll orientation I haven't figured out why but it always tries to get to some weird roll orientation that it's happy with nice so it got up to its one meter per second and then it did its translation to fix uh, the approach vector Is that thing still rotating? I thought we told it to lock steering. Yeah, no, something's weird. Something is weird. Hold on. Oh, it's it was on target mode. That's why. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what the hell's happening here? Gonna interstellar this, yeah, no kidding. Oh, well, that would explain it. Yep. 
I've got to slow down relative. Now that it's actually locked correctly on the vessel that we're trying to dock to. Benuli42, thanks for the follow, man. Welcome in. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, let's clear the... Clear that old arrow out. And now we should be good. Let's just double check. We are actually locked on steering. Our target is the actual docking port. Let's control from our docking port and say clear screen. Run dock. What's cool too, Warlock, is you can do like whole UIs and stuff. Um, so I'm having it just print values to the terminal, but I want it to spawn like an actual UI window um, and have the terminal be sort of like debugging purposes and stuff. Not there yet. And now it's fixing the translation. Okay, now we're good. Now we're definitely good because it's not doing this target stuff anymore. I suspect it was in target mode before as well. That might be why it's uh, the docking sort of got messed up before. You can see it firing little bits of translation on the thrusters, because this is not an RCS balanced craft. Not very balanced as far as that's concerned. Right now it's slowing down to the 0.5. Good. Because we hit, uh, what is it, 30? Five meters or no 50 we hit 50 it starts to slow down at 50 meters per second or 50 uh, meters away from the vector slow down some more Yeah, it seems to be oscillating the RCS firing significantly just because this is so not an optimized craft for docking. It's got the bare minimum <laughs> for what it needs. I mean, it's working. It's keeping the perfect vector right on prograde. And now we're slowing down a little more. Yeah, that is a lot of oscillation in the RCS. This is what I need to do is um, I need the, the script to detect sort of the RCS TWR and adjust the thruster output of accordingly to balance the craft. But that that's a very complex challenge. Okay, now it should be stopping. Good. And then now we're gonna get our final vector. So this should land us right on the, the money here. It'll overshoot it a little bit. Calibration phase or something. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah, we're locking directly on the target now. That's more appropriate. It had to have been the satellite was in target mode itself. So it was changing as we moved in, I think. This is what it appears that it was on the last attempt. Calibration phase though, yeah. It wouldn't be a big phase either. It would just be some function it calls to weak stuff before it starts kind of thing. It looks like it's still off. Like it's not, it's not gonna come in straight. That's weird. It's something about this it doesn't like this craft. I, I don't know why. Cause it's not. Oh, I know why. 
I know why now. Because our mech jet, our mech, and mech jet and stuff needs to be off. I screwed that up. That's fine. Let's just stop it and dock manually. I left mech jet on. I'm not, you're not, I'm not supposed to do that. I already know that that doesn't let it work correctly. Cheat! Hello, buddy! How are you doing, man? Welcome in. Thank you for the uh, lots of time on Twitch, my friend. That's the contract. There you go. Cheat, man. Bruh, how you doing, dude? What are you up to? I guess uh, we're helping you move in a couple weekends, huh? Cool, that's the contract. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the reason that wasn't working is I left MechJeb's uh, SAS controls on. Uh, you cannot have SAS on for that to work. It's been tweaked without it. So that's just a procedural error on my part. The script is fine. I really, that, that's exactly why. That explains it, because when MechJeb's error, when MechJeb's SAS is on, it's got an error of, a, it introduces some error into the script. So I just forgot to disable it, that's all. Oh, dang, Chi, that sucks. No, KOS can't hit Mech Jab Warlock, no. I just gotta remember to turn it off, that's all. No biggie. Okay, now we gotta lower our orbit. That's easy enough to do, man. I'm not worried about that. No way, Chi. You'll have to tell me more about it, man. Let's circularize at the perigee. DMU. Okay, okay. Tell me where. Tell me why. Tell me all these things. Why is Mechjeb pulsing the thrust like that? That's really weird. I almost wonder if some some aspect of that script is still running somehow. That's nice. That's awesome, dude. What is going on here? <laughs> what? Mech Jeb, are you drunk? What is going on? All right, we're gonna just freaking do it live, man. Welcome to the tank. That's right, Leslie. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I was I was trying to figure something out. And plus, I had a friend message me on Discord about some stuff, so. I'd respond, but thank you for the follow up. Oh, I know what's being weird. We're not controlling from the correct point. I'm smart sometimes, I promise. <laughs> That's why. It was still trying to do that burn from the docking port of all places. Okay. Let's recircularize that to 20 kilometers. We are way past that right now.
My follow shook the knowledge loose. It did. It did. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I've got a friend, guys, who works at Blue Origin, and he's DMing me about all this HLS stuff going on. And I don't want to share any of his info unless he says okay, but he's messaging me about it, messaging me about it right now. KSP2 would be fun to have asteroids being aimed at the KSC, so you have to do intercept missions at some point. Yeah! Yeah. Definitely. Like, playthrough ending asteroids or whatever, right? Or you gotta have a colony somewhere. If your original KSC dies, you know. Stuff like that. Okay, so we need to plant the flag, measure temperature on the surface. Um, all we need to do now is just get some science data in space. So let's do that real quick. I bet we can just do the crew report. We'll transmitting at work. Oh, no, we can't because that's that. Um, we'll just hold on to the crew report and bring that back with us. Cover the scientific data from space and around the midness. Okay. So now we need to do crewed reports and space flight above these areas. I feel like that's all these uh, snitchiations. right here we'll get one boom nice okay so that's that one We've got one more over here i don't think we're gonna hit that one though oh we did nice i'm done with that reports boom boom okay we got lws and t29 where the heck are those Oh, those must be those. And then we've got the three close by spots for the, the contract landing right there. We gotta wait for those to get under our orbit. These crew reports that we need. And then probably some other pass will land at the target sites for that contract. Okay. And boom. Boom, okay. Probably the next pass, we'll have to do this one right here. Oh, wow, we actually could have gotten it there. And now I'm not gonna get it on this pass. Shit. <laughs> oh no, it totally looked like it wasn't gonna be there. Yeah, we got it on this one though. And then we're just waiting for a landing opportunity at that site. So that's that contract done. That's a boatload of cash. So we're already at half a million again. And we still have three contracts to do before we go back with these guys. This is awesome. Being able to double up, or not double, I mean, we're doing way more than two missions in one flight uh, is awesome. It's just like, it's a money printer, really. Okay, this is the pass we hit that, I think. Yes. the hell oh i was dragging the wrong marker okay okay i'm trying to guess where that's all going to be after midmus rotates some more okay that should be mostly good and, and we can do some changes and stuff as we go down Okay, we've got to do some corrections here. Do a little bit of 
that. Boom, and then some retrograde. And that should put us right on the money. And boom. And then we'll just hop around on like EVA or something. All right, we got a lot of fuel, man. We might as well burn this stage and use it for some of the desal. As we come in. Nice little flat area up here. This is pretty cool. Ooh, I'm worried about the slope actually where we land. This is going to be interesting to say the least. probably not going to get destroyed. It's going to bounce off the surface a gazillion times, obviously. <laughs> and boom. Yep. Slope's not too bad here. I mean, it's actually not very good at all, but we'll be okay. <laughs> we'll be okay. It's like seven degrees or something. One of the things I want a landing script to do is find a low slope area to land. That could be pretty cool. Like butter, that's right. It's almost like I've been playing this game for almost 10 years. <laughs> I've been playing this game for a long time. Put it that way. All right, Bob, get out, plant the flag, collect the sample, and Bob's your uncle. Take surface sample. Surface samples are biome specific. Bob's gonna make us some science. Good job, Bob. You know what you guys should do? You should be like Bob. Uh, yes, Alucard. The answer to that question is yes. What's up, Billy? How you doing, buddy? Oh, you guys want to know what Grav didn't do? Grav didn't bring a thermometer on his crap. <laughs> At least the trip won't be a waste because we made a boatload of cash and we're going to make a bunch of science from all the crap that all the surface samples Bob's going to do. That's that's kind of annoying, though. Okay, so that's lowlands. Uh, let's just do a hop in a random direction, I guess. Try to land somewhere not the lowlands. Let's see where that takes us. We'll come back for that landing spot, I suppose. Get some temperature surveys. Watch me still land in the lowlands. 
I feel like that's about to happen, actually. Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, we're gonna boost back over to the flats, I think. Over here, land over there, get a sample. So we've done lowlands, so we're gonna need flats. Um, I'll try poles, I guess, which I could have done up here, probably. Oops, I turned too far for that. Boom. Okay. I'm good. We're actually going to land pretty close to our science gear. Totally enough. Yeah, like right by it. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm okay with that, you know? It's like right there. That's funny. Butter. Greater flats, so Bob's gonna hop out and grab some of that. E Go, Bob! All right, Bob. Go get back in. Got some more work to do, bud. Put that in there. Get in and go. Get some work done, my friend. Wondering what this plateau up here is going to be. We'll coast over it, and if it's looking good, we'll uh, we'll actually land there. We want so we've done lowlands, we've done greater flats, we've got highlands and midlands and lesser flats and holes. I think if I remember correctly. Might be highlands. Uh, lowlands still. Yeah, all lowlands. Pop over into here. I wonder if that's like lesser flats or something. Slopes. Oh, slopes wouldn't be bad, but it's going to be really hard to to land on it. This is probably greater flat still. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's get a full orbit going and we'll just do a hard deorbit over something. We hit a, a biome that we need. Are we safe? Yeah, we're good. Gonna be close. Be shaving the top of Minmus, but we'll be fine. Oh, and still.
Midlands. Okay, this is where we should do our next one. More up here. Definitely. Okay, we're looking good. I forgot about Midlands. No, 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 I didn't. I just didn't. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Anyway. That was a sketchy landing. I'm not going to lie to you. Pretty sketchy. All right, Bob. You can do it, Bob. Good job, Bob. Okay, so we've got lowlands, midlands, and greater flats. Doing really good on Delta V still. We had a new biome, like right now, Highlands. I think we do it. Yeah, land up here. This is a really crappy slope, though. Very bad. Oh, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Our slope here is actually less than the last spot. So we're good. Funny thing is, with minimus is gravity, I can just drop here and be okay. Let's experiment with that. Let's just see what happens. Hey, look, nothing. <laughs> God, minimus is so easy. All right, Bob. That's the Highlands. That's a lot of science so far. Um, We'll probably do a couple more attempts at finding another biome, but we won't try too hard on it. This is already like a boatload of science that we're going to have. Good. See where that lands us. I feel like that's some lesser flats action over there though. I got a I got a feeling. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try to land right there. I don't know what flats those are. Find out. After this one, it's probably time to go home with our Delta V that we have remaining.
doing? Looking good. I hate these like artificial warp limits at altitude. I keep talking about that. Like I'm gonna like I'm gonna eventually remember to get that mod that disables it, but maybe in six million years I will remember. This is the Great Flats. Yeah. I think it's a little different, though, than the last one, because the last one was Greater Flats. So I, I didn't know there, there must be, like, Lesser, Great, and Greater, I guess. I, I don't know. We'll see. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that again. Okay, Bob, let's get out, let's get it, and let's go on, buddy. Wee. <laughs> he always looks so happy to do everything. All right. Go home, Bob. Okay, this is a great mission, man. We made a ton of money. Uh, we made a boatload of science we're about to bring it back. I didn't finish all the missions. I forgot to bring a freaking thermometer. But that's okay. Plan our burn to get home. Easy. Got a little close on Delta V. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't try to keep hopping. I actually paid attention. I wonder how much science this is going to get us. It's going to be a couple hundred. We got, what, four or five samples? change our perigee a bit here let's do a change perigee um let's just tell it to do it in, i don't know 60 seconds or something uh, let's make our perigee 35 kilometers 
quick little burn in just a few seconds. All right, we are looking good. Let's go in and let's return. Let's go home. Let's see what kind of uh, tech we can get. I don't think we've landed at Mun and placed the science there. Although now we might have additional science to place with the new research we're gonna have. So my priority is gonna be um, getting stuff to get us more science. Probably some better antennas for this stupid relay system. Fuel we have, and then we'll pop off and re enter. What's up, How to Rock? Yeah, How to Rock. That's the idea. Is I want it to detect the trajectories info because you know it can hit the trajectories mod, as you know. Um, and I want it to um, detect the slope around that area, and if needed, we'll do a little burn to correct and find a better slope. Um, and like draw vectors and find a flatter area you know uh that's the idea so i think it's a it's it's a good project but it will be challenging it'll be quite quite difficult that could have been done a lot safer i think <laughs> i mean think about it how to rock it we could build something similar to terrain relative navigation because we could have it detect where trajectories is currently sending it, grab the surface data, draw and detect points a couple directions away from the target, and detect the slope in that area. If the slope isn't good, pick a random direction somewhere, like 10, 15, 20 meters out, detect the slope there instead, and just go from there, you know? It could be very interesting. Yes, it is, CFT. <laughs> yes, it is. Hope you're doing good, buddy. How's RO going? Almost had a Starliner moment. Oh, no. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know how that would work, because we'd have to detect a point on the surface, detect its altitude, do that for a couple different points, and get slope from their varying altitudes. You know? Um... It could be really interesting. Later, Chi. Have a good night, buddy. Love you lots. Good luck tomorrow with XYZ, ABC, whatever it is. Out to rock, I'm wondering. So trajectories would detect a point on the surface. Are we able to grab altitude of a point on the surface, like the surface altitude? above sea level exactly so measure a couple different points altitude you see where i'm going with that so do some math and stuff nice cft good man it's a lot more hang time to get your science done you're kind of getting the hang of it now huh it's weird to get used to man it's weird to get used to the hardest part is what the freaking click man <laughs> like <laughs> that's always like what is going on here I can't pop shoots in space. Correct. You could arm them, though, when you're not in space, and they will pop themselves when they are ready. Unless you just don't have shoots that can fit a craft like that yet. We 
Yeah, man, you're learning a lot of the stuff that RO players have to deal with, man. It's like slow science gains. You got to do multiple flights to get your science and stuff. I'm just picturing like a thousand vectors to do all the possible landing sites. Yeah. Tried messing with the far supersonic drive curve. Nice. Nice. Yeah, dealing, doing all like the, the transonic analysis is a huge, has a huge effect on your sounding rocket uh, final altitude and stuff. So, uh, it will be interesting. Created more drag than not having a fairing. That doesn't sound right. They were discussing on the RO Discord some issues with drag and procedural parts. Um, so, uh, they were like just discussing that the other day. I think that there's a bug with procedural parts and the drag cubes that they produce. Although I don't know the details, so. And I think it has to do with the root part. Like if the root part is the probe core, you need to change it to the, the, the nose cone itself. And that should fix the drag issues, supposedly. I, I'm going off of just skimming the conversation. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can grab the terrain height from KOS. Okay, got you out for a Yeah, so we should be able to do that. Basically draw a square around where trajectory thinks it's gonna land. Detect the slope. You know. Go from there. Well, even that small CFT, it doesn't sound like it would, but that small change in diameter is huge. Even the aerobee cores, there's one that's exactly 0.3, and then there's one that's like 0.38. If you build a vessel around those diameters, a 0.3 vessel, and then a 0.38 vessel, they have vastly different performances. It doesn't sound like it because the difference is so small, but depending on certain factors, that might actually be legit. 375 science. We had a lot of science right now. Okay, so what the heck can we do? We can get up to the 300 node, okay. We got 650. Advanced electrics could be kind of cute because then we get like real solar panels, etc. Um, I don't know, the cameras from cold cam. But here, ooh, we get better uh, relay antennas. I like the sound of that, and better probe core. Yeah, that's the thing, C CFT, is I'll, I'll draw, I'll pick dots close to the, the, the target, and I'll do, like, the average height dif difference between the dots or something. I don't know. And we'll go from there and see how it works. Man. We'll go from there. What's up, Snapless? How you doing, buddy? We're discussing terrain relative navigation and how to do it in KOS. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, man. Weather analyzer, okay. So we could send a scientist out there to deploy additional science, which I like. So that would not be a bad node to get because that's antennas, that's science on the surface, that's probe core. This would be science labs and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. We could get the big pod. The the, <laughs> the Len. Yeah, see it. It all depends, man, on, on certain things. It, it it would be good in most most scenarios, I think. There would definitely be some edge cases, as you described, that would that would definitely get chewed up. But no question. Ooh, we could get the Sentinel telescopes. That's like a money printer. That's a money printer. Man, um, dang. They can get both the height and the slope of the terrain. Oh, you can literally pull the slope directly from KOS. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, that would not be bad. That would not be bad. 
Although I would probably still want to take points around the craft, around the target that it's currently landing at and still get like um, average height difference between points. Um, have it like maybe draw 10 points around the craft in a circle and point one would get its height difference between two through 10. Point two would get its height difference between from three to one, you know, and, and so on. So it would get its height difference between all the points, average it. Instead of average, use a KPI like P95 or P99 unless if you're dealing with extreme changes in elevation. Yeah, good point. Good point, Kaz. Also, hello, Kaz. Welcome. You can give us the Okay, okay, I saw that. Yeah, there's a lot of things we could do. There's a lot of things we'll be able to do when we get to that point. Absolutely. Decisions, man. Decisions. This will be kind of cute to get here. Although, oh my god. Cheetah, the chat of vacuum engines. Ugh. And of course, nukes, right? Man, um, I think I definitely want the better solar panels. Absolutely. So let's get that. This is super useful because this gets us better antennas. We'll probably start replacing our relay network soon. So that's going to help with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want science labs. That, that feels like cheating. <laughs> the science labs go bird. Um, and then we can get the Sentinel telescope. I feel like that's, uh, that's where it's at. I think they're mostly... Uh, Solid CFT. I don't know the real ones that are, that are flying in real life, so I don't know. My friend got me Lenonade, so I'm pleased. I've had that before. It's actually very good. <laughs> Lenonade is, is actually quite good. What is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be like a Hubble analog or something? Because it says it's got deployable solar panels. Oh, this must be like KOS stuff or something. Or related to whole cam BDS. Man, oh god, what do I do with this last bit of science? Cause this is this is key right here. We got better solar panels. We've got uh, probe cores, relay antennas, better science for deployables. We also have this ground slam thing. I could also just get the final command pod could also be interesting. Uh, and it is pretty tasty. Yeah, I've had it. It's pretty good. Hmm, man, I don't know what to get. We get big boy solar panels. Not that we need them right now. Where do we get the ISRU stuff? 
I think it's like up here. Yeah, it's up here. Okay. You can get two of these nodes or one of those. I know we can't get uh, the asteroid tracking yet. Let me actually go see. Because whether or not we can get asteroid tracking dictates what I want to do next. That's a big fat amount of money to get that. That's 1.1 million. Um, I need to make some money. A lot of money. Some wouldn't be bad. Good land that. I want to wait to do the surface stuff, the outpost, until we get uh, the final dock for TBM. That makes my life a lot easier. Forests. We can run some forest missions. Yeah, these guys are complicated, man. One wants to orbit the Mun and Minmus. One wants to land on Minmus. Um, yeah, yeah, these guys are picky. A lot of money, though. Eh, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We would need a bigger crew craft to land up. Which means a bigger rocket. Um, <laughs> now, the contracts are also based on what parts we have access to. You probably order it online, DFT is my guess. I'm sure you don't need to go find it in a store or something. Although, you could probably find it in a store. Do we can get more science here. I really don't know what to choose. That's a problem. This could be nice, because this could start doing some scanning for like surface location stuff for orb, orb material, etc. Where do I get the um, rover probe core? Must be somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We unlock the ascent guidance here for our rockets, actually. <laughs> so that would be kind of nice. Because right now we, we are, we're flying by hand. So unlocking ascent guidance would, would make my life a lot easier. We'd also get a better program. That doesn't get us any science gains or money or anything. Need a way to make money. So I'm thinking I'm thinking we take this right here. Because this gives us a surface scanning module, a survey scanner, some extra science experiment stuff. Uh, I think this is where we want to go. Because soon we're gonna have the money for this Sentinel infrared. That's gonna be a lot of money. Now, the thing about that though, the Sentinel Infrared telescope is that's gonna have to be placed outside of, uh, outside of the Kerbin system. So well, that's where KOS is gonna have to come into play. Or gameplay rules. That's gonna be forced. So if we don't get that just yet, we get something else that's gonna serve us a little sooner. Oh God, I'm back to square one. The antennas would be really good here and better science. I'm getting this one, I think. I don't need a better uh, crew pod. Although that would help for tourist missions. 
no, because we don't have the bigger heat shield to support that pod yet, because that's like a fierce thing. Um, yes, let's get... Get this. Because this gives us some extra science to deploy, and some stuff on for just like landing crafts and so on. And better antennas even further. Yes, okay. So good. Good, 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 good. Um, let's get some some of the one by sixes for now. Uh, I don't really need any of that right now. So okay. What about here? Let's definitely get the probe core. Get these antennas. That. Get that. I think first things first. We're gonna want to replace our relay network. I think that's what we do. So let's go design a relay satellite. We're gonna throw up probably like four or five of them into orbit. A new this should have prograde, retrograde, and stuff. I think, right? It does. Nice. Okay. These do actually track the sun, right? They do, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, no. Okay, so that's that. We need some RCS. That's a bit much, <laughs> but it's it's a really good relay. So that's good. I actually don't want to fry my solar panels, so we're going to put these here. Uh, where's center of mass? I want to probably put these right at center of mass. We're going to be using the RTS to uh, make some minor adjustments in orbit and stuff. So we've got the probe core, we've got the fuel tank, we've got the engine, we've got a model prop tank, we've got solar, and we've got the relay. Okay. What about the direct engine? That's a bit excessive. I don't think we need that. We need we do want this one probably though. That also is pretty excessive. What's up, Jack? Looks like you set up a deep space network. Uh, kind of, yeah. We're replacing our Kerbin communications network. That's kind of what this is all about. And a liquid fuel second stage. No way, okay. Good to know. And you, you probably recognize the term arrow B from RO, don't you? Now that you're a seasoned RO player. Um, I really want those direct antennas, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, these will be actually fine, I think. Because if I think about it, all we're going to need these for is 
to actually hit KSC on the surface. Yeah. So these are these these antennas are actually pretty cool to for that. Boom. Alright. That means we can put these at a more sensible area. That's it. Well, I'm launching our aerobies. Good, good, good. Cool, man. So that's it. We got our direct antennas. We got our relays. Big old fat relays. Um, and we got our RCS. We got our solar. We got 898 Delta V. Uh, it doesn't need to, Jack. We're going to set up the network such that um, they probably won't be a geo, but they will. there's always going to be at least one above KSC. Pretty easy to do. Let me stick around for a minute. I'll show you how. I think we'll send these up on Grab Express and the bearing, most likely. We'll see how the mass shapes up. I we might need to um let's go back to K on 2.0. I need to merge that in. I think what we want here are the thrust interstage stuff. like that and then we'll just sneak it out but that relay is definitely like <laughs> it's getting hit a little bit um so maybe this is not the best method i don't know if it'll same vessel itself though I, I still not comfortable with that. Like gameplay wise, it feels a bit cheesy if it doesn't say vessel itself. So maybe do I want to do the smaller relay? That should be more sensible, I think. We do a triangle network because we can fit three of them. Yeah, we'll do it that way. We'll do uh, we'll do a three a three relay upgrade for this network. Yeah, I deleted one of the RCS pods up here. Okay, so what we need to do go to our trusty resonant orbit calculator website. Of course, I will show this to you guys here in just a second. I'll give you the URL there in chat. But check this out. Boom. So uh, we're going to have three. Sure. Let's say 2,500 kilometers. And that would be enough. That would be enough. We could even do a lower network as well. It says minimum line of sight orbit would be 600 kilometers, actually. Oh, that's way not enough. Whoops. 
Even that would be enough. Nice. Okay. So then what we would do is we we get into this orbit. A uh, one million AP in this perigee. Each satellite would need 251.91 delta V itself to inject into the target orbit. And then we'd have a perfectly spaced constellation. Nice. Okay. I think we do that. I think we do that. What's our delta V right now in this rocket? Okay. Yeah, we got plenty of delta V in this rocket to get it there. Okay. So we kick on 2.0, the Grav Express EF. Let's do grandparent and we'll reroute the engines. Boom, boom, boom. Probably want to reroute this top one up here, actually. No, no, Alcard, I do not. Unfortunately, we do not. But these little things are going to be super capable, man. This is good be a much better relay network I can even upgrade the Grav Express you can get the better solar panels oh there we go Rookie thrust the weight numbers. Yeah, okay. Okay, Alucard. Freaking savage over here. All right. I think we're good. Do it. We'll run some science and cash missions and stuff and build up some cash and get that tracking station upgrade because then that'll allow us to get the sentinel telescope up and running and then from there it's like it's game on buddy uh we don't have a sent autopilot yet that'll be a different node that we have to unlock oh no it is alucard it absolutely is you're not gonna find any arguments for me No, that's a that's a Chad tier engine, dude. It's so good. It's a little low. We don't want to turn too quickly, actually. Alright, we are looking really good already on this ascent. Excited to have a better freaking relay network, man. What we're using is just not working. Not working that well. What's up, Falcon? How you doing, buddy? In my new place? Cool, man. Got the computer all set up. Are you on your phone? Get your internet. All that crap that sucks having to deal with every time you move. Do the pick I sent on Discord. I did now. It's a nice chair. That's a cool layout for the room, too. I, li I like that. That's cool, Ben. Got fiber as well. That's, that's choice right there. Fiber, man, who? <laughs> That's good. So when, so when are you, when are you gonna stream, Falcon? Huh? Huh? Soon, right? Five hundred down, three hundred up. The three hundred up is awesome. I get gig down, uh, but I only get like fifty up or something, which sucks. Like I'll pay less. I'll pay for less down, but. Give me more up. 
You know, like, let, let's let's work on this together here, Comcast. Come on now. But no, Comcast is poopy doo doo garbage, so. Okay, so our target orbit altitude is uh, 1,000 kilometers. Okay. Let's relight the engines a little bit here. Get up to just about 1,000. That's literally a thousand on the dot. Nice. You like? Let me see. Your yeah, back sounds good, man. Damn. Snackless. Yo. Cool. I like the station design, man. Is that like a kind of Agena situation? Looks cool, man. Like, and then we need to raise our perigee up to 242.057. Change periapsis at apogee. 242. What was it? 0.0571 kilometers. is a transfer vehicle nice okay looks good man looks good you are not someone who i would say is bad at designs in ksp put it that way i i get stuff working man i don't make stuff as beautiful and awesome looking as you guys what is a heat shield for air braking heat shield sure sure i guess that's what we're gonna call it right It looks a bit sus, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's what shush. I mean, it's unavoidable. You know what it looks like. Don't act like you don't. <laughs> don't act like this is a mystery to you. Okay, then we need to change inclination to exactly zero. Let's do that real quick. Solar panels might be a good idea to deploy them, I would say, before we run out of power. You know, just maybe. Maybe. Okay, so we got the inclination we need. Let's warp down to Perigee. We're going to have to do some minor tweaks to Apogee and stuff like that. RCS little stuff. I couldn't possibly guess. Hmm. I don't know. I think you're full of shit. <laughs> Alright. The so Apogee needs to be a uh, thousand kilometers on the dot, which it is currently not. Atmospheric penetration. I mean, that's a little too, uh, it's a little too on the tip, you know, that joke. A little too uh, aggressively. Um, the iron, the the phrasing is very thick with that. Okay. Anyway, um, let's go to Apogee now. At Apogee, we got to make the perigee two forty two zero five seven.
we have a connection? We do, like everywhere. Hey, this is what having an actual relay system is like, guys. Isn't that nice? Two zero five seven is what we're looking for. Okay, we have the exact target orbit. So now at each apogee, we release a satellite, and then we have a perfectly spaced network. What's up, Spook? How you doing, Spook? You're doing good, buddy. Frickin' sun glare, man. Can't see shit. Got off work, my manager hooked me up with free local IPAs. Nice. That's that's not not a bad thing. It's absolutely not a bad thing. I need to like tone down the solar flare thing, man. JJ Abrams would be happy with me though. And there we go. Nice little relay sat. And now to its location. How's your week been going so far, Spook? Spook Reno. Hope you're having a good one, man. I got some pr hopefully good news coming later this week for you guys. With that thing that I was going to tell you guys about, but then I've been hiding it from you and stuff, and blah, blah, blah. It's like one of those things again. Well, that's been slow updates. But might actually have some updates on that. Might actually have some updates on it soon. What's our orbital period? Oh, orbital period is fine. We're not doing. We're not going geo actually. Orbital period per these numbers should be one hour, fifty-two minutes, and forty-six seconds. Forty-six point seven. There we go. Can you give us a hint, though? I cannot. Sorry. You just get to fester and think about it. <laughs> it's a good thing. It is a very good thing. It's just not something I can share yet. No, you freaking rascals. Diane is not pregnant. I say that every time. It's not going to be like, oh, well, guess what? She actually was the whole time. No, no. Like, she literally is not. Not that. At least tell us the new dog's name. <laughs> oh, God, no. We joked about getting a new cat again. Another one, but didn't. No, that's not, that, that's not what it is. I swear to God, it's like every year we've been together, we've gotten a new pet. <laughs> oh, at some point, it's going to have to stop, but I don't want it to because I love them all. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing like that. It is good, though. It is very good. Nothing you guys can, uh, can be told yet.
Wait, why didn't that come off? I thought the top little boobs and bobs come off. You did it for once, but now you're gonna be chasing the dragon the whole time, man. Gambler's fallacy and all. I'm worried, man. I'm worried about you. <laughs> all that losing, you finally won. This is a cute little relay. I think, he, I think he's cute. I think he's cute. Okay, now, we need to get the orbital period to be what it's supposed to be. Which is about right there, one hour, 52 minutes, and 46 seconds. Click KCOM 2.2. We can go back to this guy and we'll release 2.3 at the next one, and then we'll have the full new KCOM constellation deployed. So we can see that, that KCOM 2.1 and 2.2 is here, and 2.3 is going to make the perfect triangle. Look, boom, boom. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love making constellations, man. Making satellite network constellations and space stations are my two favorite things to do in this game. Bonk. Didn't I action group all this? Can I name the constellation? No, it's already been named. Flags will be a good one. Um, stations, bases, and stuff like that. New Kerbals. You know how it goes, man. You know how we do it. Hey, Hurley. Hey, thanks for the raid, man. Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. Thank you, Raiders. Hey, Hurley. Welcome in, man. How was your stream? What'd you do? Oh, freaking caps lock. <laughs> Master Chief. Cool, man. Nice. How you liking it? Playing some Halo Reach, cool, cool, cool. May I ask Kay Hurley, how'd you find us, man? If you're if you weren't playing KSP yourself, I always like asking people how they uh, made their way over here. You know, what we're working on right now is a satellite constellation, and we're actually deploying the very last one right now. So we're using a website called the Resonant Orbit Calculator. This lets you plan a perfectly evenly spaced satellite network. So that's what I'm doing now, and I'm deploying the third of the last of this particular network. Um, so I'll show you in just a second after I tweak a little bit of the orbit here. I'll show you what that orbit looks like. There's going to be a lot of other crap in orbit, but you'll be able to see the perfect little triangle there. So I don't know if you can see there's a big mess of stuff, but right here is one. There is one. 
and there's the other. So perfect triangle between those two. Because of the math that this website does for me, they're perfectly spaced. I mod for Tazel. Oh, cool, man. Nice. Tazel's awesome. I uh, haven't been able to watch her streams as much because she streams at times I'm not able to view streams. Um, at least a little bit lately. But her streams are awesome, man. I love the humble bundle thing that she does. Okay. KCOM 2.0 is online. Looking good. Now we should always have a connection, no matter where we are in the Kerbin system. Uh, at least if we're on like the far side of a moon or whatever, we won't. But... It took us nine hours this month. Jeez, how many... <laughs> I would imagine if she's like right in the middle of something in the game, if she's not at a good stopping point, she go a little beyond the 30 minutes. It's all good, Hurley. Thanks again for the raid, man. See you next time. I'm back. Nice, nice. You know, it's weird to only be an hour ahead of you now. Yeah, we'll deal with it. You're in a real time zone now. <laughs> that's that's like that's not even something to be douchey about. I will, I will, Hurley. Thanks again, buddy. Oh, oh yeah oh yeah look at that triangle baby look at it just look at it oh I, mean, I got a lot of other junk that's relaying but oh god it looks so good Let's go D orbit the stage now. You didn't even recognize the MST the other day when I sent that meme. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Alright, and that is deorbited. So good. Now we've got a good constellation. We could probably even put one of those exact same constellations around Mun, to be honest. Um, which would not be a terrible idea. Would not be a bad idea. But let's we don't really need that right now. We need cash. So I think what we'll do is let's go buy the new science from the stuff we've unlocked. Don't need anything there. Anything there? We already got that. Yeah, so we got the weather analyzer. What we need now is the seismic the magnetometer. We can go deploy the ground slam and the new weather analyzer at both of the surface sites, Mun and Minmus. I don't even think Minmus or Mun has gotten the the goo container either to the surface, so we'll do that. Now that we've got those, what kind of contract? We do another flag planting on Minmus. Yeah, how to rock exactly. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> soon, soon. Uh, let me see, RJ. I might have clicked on it and forgot to reply or something. So you did DM me. Oh, shit. That one. Uh, I will reply to that later. That's not a stream topic of conversation, but I will. I left it up in Discord, so I remember. In fact, just so I don't be a dick and forget, I'm going to mark it unread. Well, I definitely remember. It's not stream appropriate. It is not. <laughs> Conversations that should be had, but not here. So I'll, I'll DM you about it. Okay, I want to see. Let's actually let the contract cycle here and see what it gives us now. Temperature surveys. We got to do the surface temperature stuff at Mimis anyway.
Going pretty good, NorCal. Going pretty good, man. Um, we're making it into this playthrough, man. Um, got some KOS stuff done already. We've got a, a working docking script. Um, I have to remember to disable SAS and MechGem. Um, but if I remember to do that, it works correctly. <laughs> I forgot to do it earlier when we were using it. Um, so I got a docking script working in KOS. It's really basic. Uh, it, it draws an arrow out of the target docking port 50 meters. That's like our keep out sphere approach vector kind of thing. And then we, we go to the end of that arrow, 50 meters out of the target docking port. We slow down as we come in that, to that point in space. Stop, rotate, point at the docking port that's the target. Wait 15 seconds for our steering to stabilize and stuff. And then we move in. And then it does all the translation stuff throughout. Nice, RJ. Cool, man. I would like to see some free shots when you get ready. Yeah, NorCal. Um, if you haven't heard the gameplay rules for this, it's hard mode on like a vanilla-ish playthrough. I've got like mech jab and stuff like that, but I don't have realism mods or life support. Um, and my sort of gameplay rules are KOS for anything uncrewed or no pilot available beyond the Kerbin system. But we are testing stuff with KOS in the Kerbin system. Um, because that allows me to take control back over the craft if something happens. And, um, but beyond the Kerbin system, it's, it's live and for real, like it's gotta be KOS. So before we go interplanetary, we'll be, you know, getting landing scripts done and stuff like that. I got too enthusiastic with the mods. You know, a lot of them just aren't working yet. Trajectories isn't working for 112.2 yet. Um, the version of the mod that is basically this website in mod form isn't working yet, which I was hoping would work. Um, Outer Planets mod I want to use. That's not ready for 112.2 yet. Um, there's a few others. Yeah, NorCal. Yeah, so it'll be fun, man. It'll be fun. So we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. I plan on keeping this playthrough going for quite a while, so it'll be a lot of fun. Managed to get trajectories working in 112.2, really? Just using Seacan. How? Up the rock, how? One of the things we were discussing earlier, NorCal, is basically building a KOS version of TRN, Terrain Relative Navigation, where I'm gonna have it do with the initial deorbit burn and kind of target where we want it to go. Um, but then it's gonna take the slope around where it detects the, the, the landing site and see if that's a good enough spot. And if it's beyond some value that I set, then we're gonna have it do little burns and it's gonna scan the area taking points and seeing where a flatter slope is and then do an appropriate burn to retarget the landing. Um, that's all stuff I got to figure out the details of, but I'll figure all that out eventually. No, RJ, no, no live support stuff. No, I want the gameplay to be relatively vanilla. KOS and Outer Planets mod are the only two things. Um, the only two things that are going to be like affecting gameplay. And Outer Planets mod I don't even have yet because it's not ready for 1.12.2. It's gonna be a long time before we need that anyway, so I'm okay with waiting. What fun looks like for computer space geeks. NorCal, dude, how's the air up by you, man? It's not so bad down in my neck of the woods. It's bad, but um, I imagine it's worse where you're at. All right, let's get this flag planting done. Coming over the Rockies. It's fire season in California, Falcon, okay? it's There's a season for it now. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, NorCal, damn, I'm sure, dude. That's a fat contract right here. That is a huge contract. There you go, NorCal. There you go. My um, 
by far the Model 3 ships with like this um, like really really good air filter I've been using that lately it's got like a special mode I can click on the screen where it's like oh you know whatever I forget the name of it I haven't even anyway. honestly I don't know what plans are on the outer planet mod I don't know either that's gonna make it fun We'll, we'll explore it together. I'm not going to look up screenshots of them. Um, I am going to discover and explore them naturally. I don't want to know anything about them. Because Out of Planets mod has been around for a long time. It's very vanilla-like. Of course, it's not vanilla. But it's vanilla-friendly, vanilla-alike, stock-alike, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it should be really fun. I've never played with it, so I'm excited to try it when it's ready for one full two. My truck says he's decided to stop working. That's fun. Right during the summer. Let's just go do a min landing real quick. We'll take out some new, the new science stuff for the deployables. And uh, we'll go from there. I've, I've played research bodies. Is that up for 112.2? I haven't been playing it with the whole playthrough though. So that might, um, I feel like that's something that you might need at the beginning of a playthrough. And plus, that's not up to date. That its up to date version is one ten, it seems. Yeah, it only officially supports one ten. Yeah, it's not up for one twelve two. It's a cool mod, though. It's really cool, especially for new planet packs you haven't played on before. Yeah, okay, so let's get this these two out of the way. Well, let's go plant a flag, deploy some new science stuff. Um, probably won't have power for all of them, so we'll have to send out engineers with four panels or something. Um, or we can have the scientists deploy them, but they won't get the bonus. That should be fine. Yeah. Let's go edit and get some stuff ready. Maybe NorCal, maybe. Like for me though, um, I didn't mind starting the playthrough because I knew that stuff would be coming eventually, so. Okay. okay we don't need the goo monitor. Probably you need some solar. Where's the deployable stuff? Here it is, okay. Uh, the weather analyzer we need. And we need seismometer, right. And for the seismometer guys, the deployable seismometer. Do you have to, like, throw an impactor at the surface near it, or does it just work past it? I don't know how the deployable seismometer works, specifically. Do you have to impact stuff? Is it NorCal? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Hopefully that passes soon enough for you. Work's been a little crazy for me, too, man. Um, we are hemorrhaging people at the moment. So that's been really stressful. Like very, very stressful. We got the better solar, so we might as well put that on here. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's a little not good right now. <laughs> uh, so well, I'm in IT, as you know. We've lost for the last six months three or four techs. Uh, we lost um, probably our most senior network engineer today. Um, two other techs have their last days on 
Friday this week. So that's not good. And we also lost our dispatch person from Friday. But they already had, they already backfilled that position, so. He's an engineer's marker right now. Oh yeah, no. Our our senior guy, our senior network guy, he uh he walked right into another job. Much higher pay and stuff. For one of our clients actually. <laughs> so we're still gonna be working with him. Just uh in a different capacity. Are people leaving? Topic for not on stream. You can ask me in DMs if you want. <laughs> uh, but that's a topic for another time. I will I will tell you, but it's not, not appropriate for here. I actually, I think I've actually told you some of that already, Falcon, to be honest with you. We were talking about some stuff like that. At least some of it. Possibly, potentially. Um, okay, so let's send out Valentina and Bob. We will land at the deployable site. We'll plant the flag. We need the ooh. We need the temperature thing. We got some other science here we can do too. Um, let's put all those on here. We got temperature. We got this little dude. We got the magnetometer, little dude. Been so hectic, yeah, I hear you. I freaking hear you, dude. Yeah, it's been a little nuts for me, mostly work stuff. I might have some updates from the thing that I'm hi I'm hiding from you guys later this week, but I can't share what it is until you know certain certain things. So you guys just get to think about that now until I'm able to share. Falcon, I've actually told you a little bit about it, so. There you go. You can check your DMs. Thomas, you know. I've told very few people, okay? There's like less than five people that I've told. I'm pretty sure I've told you about this house. Shut the fuck up, Thomas. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. No, no. No, I'm just, I, instead of a hot tub, I'm going to do ice bath streams. Okay. A link? What? Oh, Jesus Christ, you guys. Yeah. Nope. 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 Are you guys done? Really, guys, come on. Come on. No more. It's uh, it's a little heavy handed. Come on now. I think we're ready. Play him out is cool. Yeah, yeah, from what I heard, it's really cool, man. Been around a long time people who want a mostly vanilla experience but some additional places to explore uh really like outer planet spot and i've heard about it for a long time um i am aware that it does something with elu i am aware of that yeah but that's okay i don't know what it does but i'd rather don't tell me i'd rather figure it out all out on my own oh i didn't actually reveal it and they were I have, I, I'm doing a thing, NorCal, where I'm, like, not telling people about this big surprise that I have. Um, 
it's like a life thing for me, you know. But I can't share it yet, so I'm making them all just fester and like wonder what it is, obviously. Um, and uh, they're joking and saying I'm gonna have an OnlyFans or something, and it got a little out of hand. So I put the kibosh on that. It is a good thing, though. The thing that it is, it is a good thing. But you guys don't get to know. Most of you guys. Very few of you I've told about the thing. Mm, no. Unless you really are confident you're not going to give anything away, RJ. Unless you're super confident. I'll trust your judgment. But don't give anything, like, fun to find out away. Does that make sense? Do you see anything on the mods page about 112.2, RJ? Is it potentially ready? Because I haven't checked since I built this install. Maybe it's ready and I'm just not aware. What a beautiful gravity turn, by the way. Oh, okay, RJ. Yeah, okay, just tell me. That's not a major thing. I kind of still want to get rocket sound enhancement though, NorCal. I kind of still want that though, you know? Because that's still pretty awesome. Oh, it does, NorCal. Interesting. Do I want to? I feel like I don't want to know, Thomas. I don't want to know. But you're going to tell me anyway. Oh, no way, RJ. Okay. Don't tell me where. That that was a perfect level of detail. So I was I was right to trust your judgment. But that is actually pretty freaking cool. Um, is there like a lore reason why? Or did they just put it there? Don't tell me the reason. Is there a lore thing that explains why? Not a weird thing. DM it to me, Thomas. You should DM this to me. You, you can't say that to me and not tell me what it is. You should tell me. But that's why I've decided. The decoupler exploded. Okay. Okay, decoupler. Okay. All right. talking about it man DM me I'm very curious oh makes sense RJ makes sense cool that's fine nothing fresh and cool I like the sound of that because the whole outer planets mod thing you know did you not pack it in any, any specific way with like the expanding foam or anything like that Falcon you just yeeted it That's brave. Stupid. But I'm glad it worked. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. I'm talking about the components inside, the expanding foam stuff. 
not like the outside. The GPU pumping. Ah, there you go. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's good. It sounds like you do the right thing to keep it good. I've ordered a pre-built in the past. Not in a long time. Um, but the last time I did order a pre-built, it came with all that stuff. So it, it shipped totally fine. Pre-builds, by the way, guys, now are uh, not a bad thing. If you go to, like, not one of these crappy companies like CyberPower or something. Um, there's uh, definitely, like, good pre-builds now. And it's not a bad thing to do nowadays. Believe it or not. Depending on details, of course, but. Nice. Nice, Thomas. Oh, thanks, Mun. Appreciate you getting in the way, Mun. Uh, uh, uh. Guess we'll burn a Perigee or something. That's annoying. Stop, stop, stop. You guys just love when Mun gets in the way and it's like, hey, and then you're like, hey. Then you're like, why don't you fuck off, bud? Then it's like, well, what if I didn't? I think I just had it. Come on. It. Okay, let's see. Let's see how well you shipped it. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's do this, and then I'll do a fine-tune closest approach burn uh, after we leave Mun. And then we'll be good. Made a Frank PC upgrade to CPU, MOBO, and system. Reuse everything else. Works nice. Oh, good, man. Good, good. Um, I was just talking with somebody about this today, NorCal. Um, uh, they got themselves a 3090 somehow. Super easy. Apparently, they didn't have to do a bunch of searching like freaking everybody does nowadays, uh, which I'm very jealous of. Um, but I got a 2080 Ti. I've got an 8700K that I hit the silicon lottery on. I'm able to clock that thing to 5.0 stable. I run it at 4.8, um, but I could theoretically clock it to 5.0, and it's good temps and stable and everything. But um, I've got 64 gigs of RAM. My motherboard is kind of aging though. It's aging. It barely even has an M2 slot. What about an only lands where you post server racks? <laughs> I, I don't hate the idea because it's it's nice and meme, -y, you know? Very meme. -y. What's up, Shin? How you doing, buddy? 
The only problem with that, Spooky, is that uh, there's potentially like labels on the outside of switches and things and firewalls and routers that could be considered sensitive info and I would not be able to post a lot of it. Unfortunately. Oh, nice, Shin. Apex, you know what? I've actually had some okay fun with that game, surprisingly. I still prefer Tarkov every day of the week, but um, Apex really isn't bad. I have had some fun with that game. I haven't played it much lately, but uh, it is a fun game, more than you might think. What if I did a burn here at the node? such a wonky trajectory. Yeah, okay, we got the encounter now. It's a really crappy encounter, though. What? Yeah, Jack, I've heard of that. Um, it's, uh, no, I agree, Shin. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, but Thomas, I will agree with you on most of the 2042 modes, but it's got like a Tarkov style mode. Um, and regardless of if it's iteration of that mode ends up being good or not, it's good that there's going to be more competition in sort of that genre of Tarkov style games, because Tarkov is kind of on its own in the shooter market. So, um, I think the developers have maybe gotten a little comfortable with the game and not innovated enough. And uh, some competition um, in that space could be great. Uh, Shannon, it sounds like you're on like really outdated info, man. It's actually a lot closer to Tarkov than you seem to think. Some people have done, done some data mining and stuff like that. And it's looking a lot more like Tarkov than that, man. There's insurance, there's full loot, extract points, and all kinds of stuff, man. Now, will it actually be fun? Who knows, man. But I will definitely be trying it. I still prefer Tarkov, man. And I'm gonna prefer Tarkov, even if their their mode is good. But it'll be interesting to try. Dude, I know Thomas. That's crazy. Ah, I'm so excited for the Inspiration Four mission, man. I'm so excited. Seeing the the shots that you know they're gonna be taking pictures from inside the capsule out the cupola which is custom for the mission, you know? Because that's what these guys requested. Oh, dude, it's gonna be so good. Oh, you will, Thomas. You're gonna get pictures of it. I guess uh, I was reading through a Reddit thread where John Krause was talking, because he's the, the dedicated Inspiration4 photographer. We're on the ground, of course. He's not going up with them. And um, he... Uh, He's been teaching them all photography so they can all do photography while they're in space. Like how freaking, dude, it's, it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool. This is gonna be, I think, a turning point in SpaceX histories too because it's gonna be the first fully private orbital mission. Not like a tourist riding with some astronauts to the ISS, but the first like fully 
private over mission. Um, and that's, that's a big deal, man. That is a big deal. The Netflix tie in. Oh, dude, I know. I know, man, it's going to be so good. Oh, I, oh God, I'm excited. Who knows, Thomas? Who knows? Well, I just say Jeff who? Falcon, they're not going to be flying that if it's a real issue. Not that it's, uh, you know, nothing to worry about. Don't misunderstand me, but that's they would never fly that if it was actually unsafe. I, I don't buy into that. But I don't deny those people's worries either. You know, maybe it's just something that's so atypical. They don't want to be dealing with it. There's still a hatch. I would assume there is. And the toilet is right there. <laughs> well, where else are you going to put it? Yeah, they've probably done a gazillion vacuum tests on that thing. And then there's still the hatch. They'll still be able to sense and test everything before they actually, you know, open it and stuff. So. I, I also don't put down the concerns of those people, though, you know? That are that used to apparently work on it and now they don't. That's that's their prerogative and that's okay. They obviously know more than us armchair people, so we can't pretend to know more than they do. Thomas, there's no way they're not going to, um, well, it, it, you know what? It does need to be open because it's astro navigation is all underneath the nose, isn't it? All the astro navigation sensors and stuff. Um, I'm sure they're going to be doing a extra testing regime with the sensors in the, in the, the, uh, the hatch and stuff before they open the nose. Draco thrusters are all under the nose cone. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, not all of them. No, Jack. There's some on the outside. Not all of them, though. Yeah. The the main ones they use for the orbit raising is is in fact in the nose. That's correct. You're thinking about the Super Dracos, maybe, Jack. The orbital maneuvering is also called Draco. Double check what kind of stuff we have. Plant the flag and measure uh, temperature at the site. So we're gonna land at the science area first. Wait for them to come around to the daytime. And then we'll hop over to the other one, the temperature scans that we have to do. Yeah, the Super Dracos, those are the uh, <laughs> the yeet motors, if you will. Okay, that should be decent. And we can obviously correct a bit as needed. So we'll use as much as we can um, out of this transfer stage and we'll hop around with the actual lander.
Well, looking at the numbers, we probably only deorbit with this thing, and then the actual landing burn has to be done with the pod, but that's fine. We have yes amounts of delta V in the actual lander, so that's more than okay. It'll be a really exciting mission, man. I'm 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 happy for it finally happening. Got that fixed. Let's do our final approach now. We can go goodbye. What a cute little lander. I like this thing. We are landing pretty far away. We need to fix that. Boom. It's, you know what, NorCal? They have improved, like, the hills and the surface and stuff a lot. Um, they got that high res pass, more surface scatters and stuff like that. So it's, um, they've improved the look of it significantly, man. It looks uh, much better than it used to. Retarget that landing a little bit. That way we can just do some pitch feathering and stuff. Final descent. Now, unfortunately, NorCal, I'm landing in kind of a boring area, but up in the hills and stuff, the terrain is is a bit more varied and and unique and stuff. It's pretty cool. Mun is the same way, and Duna as well. I think they've done big terrain passes on all the major bodies, make it look more interesting and all that kind of stuff. I did the thing. I did the thing. <laughs> oh man, that's a rookie mistake. Oh yeah, absolutely, NorCal. Absolutely. There are some pretty flat areas with zero slope. I'm in this, but the actual flats are obviously the best, right? You're probably playing your non-RO playthroughs on JNSQ, I'm guessing, NorCal. I'm sure the Minmus has got some uh, modifications and stuff for that, huh? All right, Bob. Get out, Bob. Oh, yeah. Dude, granted, the whole um, GPP itself is just awesome, man. I love that planet pack. That one in Beyond Home are, I think, my favorites. What's this? Oh, this is the, what, communications array? Or something, this is something. JNSQ GEP. You combine both of those. That is interesting. That is interesting. Oh, yeah, so that is the antenna. Got it. Okay. That'll work better if I come and replace that with an engineer. We will eventually. Nice. NorCal, there you go. You know what I wish, NorCal, is... Um, 
ASP Interstellar Extended having actual up-to-date documentation on how to use that mod, man. It's such a cool mod, but the documentation is just so awful for it. I really wish uh, that was the thing. You laugh, but you know exactly what I'm talking about, too. I just want my Epstein drive, man. That's all I want. I want to know how to use the damn thing. <laughs> it's so complicated with the different, like, electricity types and all this other stuff. Mega jewels and crap you gotta figure out, you know? Acquired taste with hit or miss compatibility with other mods, yeah. You did, nice, nice. Yeah, the curb scene drive always uh, makes me laugh a little bit. There's some other cool stuff in there, man. It's not just that, it's that's worth getting. I'm most likely gonna need some extra solar, but I did bring a couple. So with these deployable uh, seismometers, guys, do you have to actually impact something nearby for it to work? Or does it just kind of passively gather like the other stuff? So what about the other one, though? Far Future Tech. What's that one all about? Yeah. I've heard of it. I've never used it, though. Oh, no way. That's cool, NorCal. FFT is made by Nerdia. Fully compatible. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of FFT. I've not ever tried to use it, though. I've been mostly an RO guy for a long time. So all of these solars over here, I got to remember to redo with an engineer. Same thing with the uh, antenna. That solar, the first one, was in fact done with an engineer. Actually, you know what? That might even be enough power. Let's see. Powered and connected. Powered and connected. Experiment situation invalid. Maybe it doesn't like that it's Minmus and not like Duna or something. That's fine. Whoa, NorCal looks good. Whoa. Cool. Oh, this is interesting. I like the sound of these. This is very cute. Fun. That actually sounds quite interesting. I read a sci-fi book recently with an uh, there was an antimatter torch drive in it. Quite interesting. Managing heat is a big thing. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. How do you even launch something like that to orbit, man? Is my question. Heat control. I'm aware of that mod. It's got a bunch of different radiators and stuff. Yeah. Intended to be constructed in orbit with what, like USI or something? Extra planetary launch pads using one of those orbital whatevers. Don't recall been a while. 
it's all good. You know, you've just failed me, you know, but I'll, I'll forgive you. Staying in course. What's up, Dash Q? Thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome in. So right in the middle there. Perfect. You know, that's one thing I always liked, man, was the USI MKS like resource production pathway. I've always thought that was really cool. And combining that with like extra planetary launch pads, pretty neat, dude. Definitely do some really cool playthroughs with that. Very confusing. So you kind of figure out the different resource path trees and stuff. One of my regulars was trying that uh, not too long ago. He found the lack of documentation a bit unfortunate, but it was, it was a, it's a cool mod. Oh, no way, Alucard. Okay. So is he still streaming? He was streaming tonight, right? I think. Question mark. Nice. So he hasn't flipped his truck yet. Ah. Ah. What's up, G-Funky? No, Thomas, I'm not. Because I'm super upset with... The Microsoft store I had a fraudulent charge on my Microsoft account and I had to go through so much pain just to get them on the phone so I canceled my game pass and I'm never playing that game again because I'm not paying full price for that game because I have a cheapskate I'm just so annoyed with the process and it's not even the game's fault but I was using game pass to play that game I've associated with that in my head. So I'm just like, you know what? No. No. You saw that, Falcon? <laughs> I I honestly might send him a Mr. Potato Head. I really might. I think I should. I don't think it should be a real potato. <laughs> NorCal, even even the graphics are pretty freaking cool, man. Nice. Cool. That's awesome, man. G Funky, how's uh are you prepping for hockey yet? Dude? I would assume you're getting close. Okay, so that's the Gamma site. Check out your Steam. <laughs> so, seconds after... You guys heard me tell that story just now. Oh, come on, Steam. Come on, OBS. OBS, I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. It's not even capturing. It's not even capturing. Serious, they probably just clipped me talking about that. And Sirius just gifted me Snow Runner. I'm trying to show it to you guys, but Sirius JT just gifted me Snow Runner. <laughs> he is oh, okay. Okay. Thanks, Sirius. I appreciate it. Ugh. My eyes really itch. Oh, man. Ugh. I'm just kidding. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm going to play it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Had my first team practice today. Nice, G-Funky. That was nice. That was nice. That was really nice. 
Now I can play the game again. I have to deal with stupid Microsoft Game Pass crap. I'll accept. Ugh. <laughs> God, it was such a frustrating process, you guys. You have no idea. Don't be too jerk. Anyway, where is this other freaking site we got to go to? <laughs> I do. I do, Thomas. I do. Then, then play it, Falcon. What? Then, why? Just, just go play it. You got your computer, you got your internet. For the navigation area. There it is. Okay, it's a little over here, it looks like. The next one. It's temperature we gotta get. Then figure it out, Falcon. You're a you're a big boy. I have confidence that you can figure it out. We did not have to go far for that at all, did we? I've got some new science. I should be getting that stuff. Oh, hell yeah. What? Yeah, I'll take 90 science. Thank you, magnetometer. Take that. Absolutely. Shut up, Falcon. <laughs> Just shut up. Wait, what? Did we just get two sites in one? Plant our flag. Who wants to name the flag? Redeem your channel points. You can pick the name of the flag and the inscription text. Oh God, Thomas, what do you got? Falcon unsub hills. What is the text going to say, Thomas? I wish you could actually pick the flag, like, decal. That would be cool. I think you have to pick the decal, or the flag, in the VAB before the mission launches, though. So. Of you for your, your clever naming, Thomas. You did good.
Mm. Got a lot done today so far, man. A lot of money. We got the R and D building. A lot of new research. That's all. Yeah. We're not going to be bringing back a lot right now, but we got some money just now. Sure. Oh, I'm guessing I'm missing some EVA stuff. I did this. Oh, crew report is even biome specific. Ah, okay. We got a lot of surface science we could be hopping around for. We should be doing it while we're here. We got a lot of LP. So we should actually do that. So we've got temperature scan, we've got seismic scan. These are biome specific surface experiments. Magnetometer report, that's only space high, so we'll get that on our way out. And surface samples, so dang, okay. We're at the Highlands right now. The Highlands, we could do a number of biomes and things. Yeah, let's just land right here. Wait a second. No, we landed in the lowlands, so yeah, let's land here. Thank you, NorCal. I will in just a second. Let me get this new orbit burn done. All limbered up. Well, it's obviously going to be an easy landing. I mean, come on, it's midness, but <laughs> still good. Still a good thing to do. Yeah, that more at work. I've got my standing desk here and everything, too. I just don't use it that much. But I am at the office, which isn't that often. I use my standing desk there as well. They have one for all the techs. So. Really flat here, actually. 1.8 degrees. Uh, yeah, brand is important. So, um... Don't get one of the ones that just raises a little platform on your desk. Uh, get one where the whole platform of the desk itself uh, raises. So the brand I have is called Autonomous, I think. Let me, just give me a second, I'll get you a link. Oh shit, 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 shit. Just min-miss things. <laughs> just min-miss things. Okay, hold on, let me get you this link. Here. Um, so that's the website of the brand. Hashtag not an ad, I guess. Um, I'm very, I love my, my, and I'm actually sitting in one of their ergo chairs as well right now. Uh, although I, I don't like the chair. Um, I believe I have the Smart Desk Pro. I have the Smart Desk Pro. Yeah. Yeah, I have the Pro. Um, and the whole platform raises and lowers and stuff. It's awesome. I love the desk. It's, it's great. Man. And you can also just remove, if you ever decide to get your own platform, you can remove the, the hardware and put it on your own platform. And you, can, you can even order just the hardware if you've already got your own desk platform that you want to raise and lower. Um, it could lift like some pretty serious weight too. If you had like a wooden desk or something. Um, I hard recommend it. It's awesome. Man. 
What is your very special IT question, Alucard? I wonder if this just means I haven't recovered that data. I think that's what it is. I think... Oh, man. Download data. Take data. Data. actually don't know Alucard uh, how they work on like that kind of detail um, which is surprising but that, that's something I normally know but I don't I failed you sorry what's up Swishio how you doing buddy come, come on Bob go back in your house Bob biome do we go for flats I feel like would be a good one yeah we can do crew report EBA temperature scan seismic scan flats don't know exactly which ones those would be these are greater flats I think maybe like this little boop over here is probably just regular flats Maybe lesser flats? Question mark. I don't know. Are we talking about two hundred sixty foot ship? Excuse me. Are you okay, Thomas? What's this orbit? We got enough Delta V for a couple more landings. I said, Bob, oh, okay. Okay. You would say that. what biome that is. Let's get a little bit of an inclination going and we'll detect what it is as we go over it. Exactly the inclination change I wanted. like back in here this little nook the great flats i think we've done a lot already what is this flat right here that's greater flat still there's not much we can do there unfortunately there'd be the surface science five science actually uh but i feel like with the Delta V we've got on this mission, we could spend it better at a different uh, biome. Get some other crap under here. Ooh, okay, so what is this gonna be here? I wonder if that's regular flats. I had a refining base here once. This is regular flats. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do a quick EVA report real fast. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Get back in. Let's go. 
go, 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 go. Yeah, Switchy is right. Uh, there's there's a misunderstanding here on something Alucard, but I'm, I don't know enough about SSDs to tell you what that misunderstanding is. I just know there is one. I don't know enough, though. I know how to install them. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know how they work. Also, for the record, have not joined the NV Amin gang. I feel like that's a bad IT guy of me. My motherboard is kind of old. Um, it's got a, a slot that is compatible with NVMe technically, uh, but I have not actually uh, gotten one yet. I want to get a 1T NVMe. They're not that expensive. Someone let me gather this thing. Oh, because they're already taken up. I think I have to like go grab the data, etc. Then we can be we can re grab it, I believe. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. Just prepping for the next biome now. All right, Bob. It's not a joyride, Bob. Yeah, because it's got SAS on, that's why. How you doing, YB? This is gonna be a haul, man. 15 experiments we're bringing back. Okay, so we've gotten the flats. Um, great flats, specifically. Not the greater, but great flats. And the poles, I think. Uh, we should be able to do at least one more landing. Let's get back to orbit and find out where one of these other flats are. I'll go polar so we can have an easier time hitting the biomes that we want. What's your attitude tonight, YB? Yeah, maybe. The lesser flats, the flats, the greater flats. Yeah, definitely. Well, I burned a little too hard here. Probably this is the last landing now, because I did that. God, look how we got to burn. This is circularized. I burned way too much. Freaking Minmus, man. Probably the visual mods, YB. They add some flavor to Minmus. That's what I'm guessing. We gotta burn pretty much like we gotta burn a little bit retrograde and then also some very very heavy radial here circular is this disgusting in this orbit okay okay, okay. 
So, I'm actually gonna send him home. I'm gonna send him home. Uh, it'd be really close on the fuel, I think. So, be safe. Jeb return from Moon never gets it that great. I'll have to pick that one for out of the Minimus SOI. That's okay. I got the belt to do that. We're bringing back a pretty big haul right now, so I'm good with that. Five kilometers, let's go. going man but I want to hang out with you I'm here to learn everybody oh NorCal you know stock <laughs> that's one thing I think a lot of stock players find very uh, uh, hard to get used to when they make the move to RO man is how reaction wheels they never knew were so overpowered in this game really really overpowered run off what fuel we can trying to pitch here to hold perigee right around 35k Reaction wheels in RO, NorCal. They suck. They exist. But only had reaction wheels, yeah, yeah. I know the, the probes. Are the reaction wheels in RO are not very good. The best ones. Oh, okay. Should have been a lot more careful with that. <laughs> oh no. That could have been a disaster. Watch our critical thermals, because we are doing pitched re-entry here, so we gotta keep an eye on thermals on the pod. It's of course gonna go up a little bit. We're in a little bit of the airstream. But we shouldn't hit m much more than like two and a half G's or so doing this. Right about 2.25. And we peaked at 2.3. Nice. Not too bad. Roller coasters aren't even are, are worse than that. I um one of the times we went to Disney World uh, before COVID, I got an app that detects like acceleration and stuff and how many G's you're pulling. And uh, at Disneyland, the the roller coaster in California Adventure that 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 does the loop. Um, the loop pulls like four and a half G's or something. I was surprised. I've passed out on that loop before because I didn't like breathe well or whatever leading up to it because I was like screaming and whatever, right? I know how to breathe and stuff now, you know. It hasn't happened since, but one time it did happen. I was like, whoa. 
I like to watch the Disney like World Park and stuff, or Disneyland. I like to watch the park and all the stuff as I'm going through the loop. Then I, I have to breathe correctly, you know. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, the wooden coaster there, does not flip. Um, I think that one was like three G's or something. I don't remember in some of the turns. And it shows you like a graph over time. It's pretty cool. Um, definitely the flip was the highest. Um, oh, what is now Guardians of the Galaxy, but Tower of Terror. Um, on the way up, because it kind of does like a staggered sort of situation. On the way up, one of the times it pulled you up pretty hard. I think it was also around like 4Gs or something. I don't remember. Get that out. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch. Right, how much science did we get? I don't think any of it was repeated. Four hundred and seventy-three. Whoa. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I forgot to get the magnetometer in high space. Oh, that could have been even more. Okay, I know things. How many tiles will fall off when they do cryo? It's just funny. I I think I'm not worried about ascent at all, man. I'm worried about re-entry. I have been from the start. We'll see what happens. I'm reserving judgment and speculation. I am just saying that I that is the phase of flight for the 420 flight. Booster 4 ship 20 that I am most worried about. But we'll see what happens. I'm not worried about ascent. That is a big question mark. They haven't flown a super heavy, but yeah. God, now it's analysis paralysis again. Um, we've got the antennas. We'll do some of this. Can we get more science? I don't think so until we start getting the next R&D building. How expensive is the next one? Three million. Whoa. Whoa. Calm down, Kerbal. Um, let's see. More tanks could be nice. Build a big rocket or big missions. Get better propulsion. The Cheetah, the Chad of all vacuum engines in KSB. Um, dang. This would enable us to use the big pod, but then we would need to also go get the pod as well. That's 320 science right there. Well, I could get three of these nodes or one here and then there. God, man. Choices. Choices. I could get a scent autopilot here. That would be very convenient. Um, let's see. I don't think we're ready for the sentinel scopes because we can't get the tracking station yet anyway. So we'll probably do another round of like Minmus missions or something to get more science and cash and stuff before that. Or maybe mud or something. I don't know. But I like getting the Ascent Autopilot from MechJeb, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So the question is, what do I spend this last 160 on? Hmm. Okay, so it only requires one of those, I was worried, okay. Um, this probably requires, oh, also just either one. I don't know if I need this node 
We'll need the ladders eventually. The cargo storage container is going to be nice for uh, new landings in various places. Now, question for you stock people. The deployable science, is that biome specific? Is it worth me landing multiple groups of them on every body? Or is it just like body surface and that's it? I would imagine it's probably just like mid surface, not like biome specific for the deployable science, but if anybody could confirm. Okay. Um, man. Okay. I don't know what to get. The pod? See, that would be nice, but then we don't have the heat shield for it. At least not yet. The pod can maybe be like a vacuum lander or something. This would be nice. I kind of want to actually save possibly. There's nothing like groundbreaking that I really need right now. Except I could get this. The better propulsion would be really nice. Okay, the propulsion might be the one, man. The propulsion might be the one. What's up, Pond Sister? How you doing, buddy? Welcome in, man. I don't think I want these yet. But this could be useful. Could be useful. So it's 850. What are we flying right now for our upper stage? I think we're mostly flying these the terriers. So that's 390. So it is a more expensive engine. But we would need less fuel because of the ISP improvement. It's only 10 more ISP. But would that account for the 500 extra bucks or whatever? I don't know. The main sale is really expensive. Man, I don't know what to get. I think I'm just gonna save for now. Not much that can be useful for me to get at the moment. That's a new part to a satellite in orbit of Kerbin. Conduct seismic surveys. Okay. We do another flag plant, do some that, do some of that. Rescue missions. Play satellite in a synchronous orbit of Minmus. Okay. Surface outpost is a pretty fat payout. See, the problem with this is I want to build a surface outpost that's got common uh, structure so we can prevent some Kraken strikes. But I really want the bigger docking ports for that. It's not exactly necessary, I suppose, but it would be really nice. I could use the regular docking ports. I don't even have those yet. Where are those? Oh, it's right here. That I could get. I think we will actually get this. Because we get a bigger fairing as well here. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely get that. Okay, cool. Um, we haven't done a lot of Mun Science missions yet. This could be it. We can do this. Hey, thanks. Hey, look, I appreciate it, man. Hope you have a good night, too. Good. Welcome in. Um, what missions should we be running here? You want me to attach a solid fuel booster to a satellite? Really? Are you sure?
Flyby Eve. So this doesn't state that it has to be crude. That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. So this could be fun. We could get a bunch of science. We could get some cash. Hmm. 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 This could be really interesting. That could be an interplanetary mission that we run. Question is, when's the Eve launch window? I'm gonna grab that. There's no deadline on it. We'll kind of think about that as we go. Uh, Cause that one's nice. Cause it only says flyby, right? Yeah. It'd be cool if we could even orbit it as well. But I'd rather save an orbit for like a contract or something. Um, okay. So as far as money making missions go. Uh, probably getting off soon, Thomas. Probably getting off soon. <laughs> I can imagine why you asked. But I'm going to raid him instead. Ha ha! Ha! Ha ha! Unless he's also getting off. Not raid related. Okay. Well, this is impossible because this thing doesn't have propulsion at all. So well, that's not happening. Um, if we sent up some kind of crew vehicle, we could potentially uh, move it around, but that wouldn't be worth trouble, really. Science data from surface of Minmus that we can do. It's a couple of Minmus missions. Not bad. Not bad. I guess we might as well take the surface outpost mission. Well, I didn't really want to do that yet. But we can do it. We can do it. Antenna docking port generate power. Must support nine Kerbals. 5,000 units of battery storage. 4,000 units of liquid fuel in the outpost actively. A 17 year deadline. I think we can make that. I think we can make it. Wouldn't be a bad mission here either. We could send Valentina the pilot out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. We can do this one. Definitely. And then rescue this chick. We'll take that. Uh -huh. And we'll take this one. I'm just kind of planning out our next stream. I want to I want to look at thinking about this. Because uh, we can do the maneuver for trans-eve injection by hand with MechJev and stuff. But because it's interplanetary, we're going to have to follow our gameplay rules. So... Um, Anything we do at EVE has got to be KOS controlled where possible or reasonable, right? So I think KOS can do the experiments. Um, we'll have to practice with that in orbit before we actually send it. Um, write a script and kind of get it ready for that mission. Um, Thomas, you freaking little bastard. God damn it, Thomas! <laughs> Thanks, Sirius. I heard I heard you didn't flip a truck tonight. Was I lied to? Was I lied to? Thank you for the game, man. Thank you for the gifted game. I'm sure uh, 
You saw me complaining about Game Pass again. So over that shit. So over it. So thank you. Thank you for allowing me to play this game. SnowRunner. Because that was actually a fun game. I enjoyed it quite a bit. But I haven't played it since the Game Pass freaking fiasco that I had. So I have no loot for you. Uh, he's just going to have to kill you then. No flips? Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Did you get stuck? Screw him, it's no joke. So I'm sure you have to have some pretty serious like trucks and stuff with heavy upgrades to even like get around without getting stuck, right? That was, that was one thing I kept finding myself doing in SnowRunner was um, uh, like overextending my capabilities for what my current build was, you know? When grab so use, oh, not this, no, not me, not me. No so use for me. Rav's is gonna chill and play some snow run. Right now we're planning on what we're gonna be doing on our next stream. So we're gonna run a satellite repair mission. Um, I'm probably gonna try to build a bit of a cheaper launcher for just like low curve and orbit stuff. Uh, and we'll do that. Uh, we'll do a Minmus mission. So we got a, a flag the flant, a flag the flant. Um, yeah, applied the plant, uh, a surface mission to do a surface outpost to land, I should say. Um, we have a rescue mission to do. We'll do all that. And we have Eve. We have Eve. So, um, we're doing a, mo a gameplay rule where anything uncrewed or no pilot beyond the Kerbin system has to be done with KOS. So where possible and reasonable. Um, so I picked up this, uh, this contract and I want to do it, um, but we'll, we'll get the probe ready. I'll do the math to make sure the antennas will reach and all that stuff. Um, and this will be our first interplanetary mission, but we have some planning and stuff to do. So we'll bang out these missions here, the Minmus missions, the uh, satellite repair. And after that, we'll start working on the Eve mission. And that'll be Thursday night stream. Why no KRPC? Because KOS. Specifically because KOS can hit the trajectories data from the mod trajectories. It can pull the predicted landing spot. That is why I'm using KOS. The KOS feels a bit more lore friendly to me as well. So uh, KRPC can do a lot of the same stuff, but um, KOS can do some things that KRPC can't. KOS is also a lot faster because it doesn't have to communicate over like a telnet server kind of thing, um, like KRPC does. So uh, there's a necessary delay in KRPC. And if you're trying to do like PID controllers and stuff in KRPC, there is uh, some lag and delay. So uh, if you're trying to do like precise landing scripts and stuff, you kind of need, um, kind of need KOS for that. Meanwhile, this random guy wants you to look at his picture. Thanks, Thomas. Appreciate it. I couldn't find those, my blue light glasses today. I've got my, uh, my super expensive $10 aviators. I know, I know. I'm swimming in opulence here. I don't need vision correction. Um, it's They're literally just blue light glasses for me. Helps the, my headaches and stuff a little bit. Doesn't fix them, but it helps. Do it, Thomas. They're cheap and easy, and they, they help, man. It doesn't totally fix my headaches, but it has helped. It has helped. I 
Oh yeah, serious. That's good, man. That is a good. So. So. Rim world is where we're going. Um, thank you guys, by the way, for hanging out with me today. Um, we will be uploading this onto YouTube, just mostly the VOD. I'm not doing a lot of editing and stuff. Um, you'll see a notification for that in Discord over the next day or two. Even if you were here tonight, please go open that video once I post it. Mute the mute the browser tab, not the video player if you can. Uh, that just helps the analytics and stuff. Um, so I'll, I'll post that in a couple of days, probably on Thursday, sometime during the day. And then we'll be streaming more of this, the five on, on Thursday. Getting those Minimus missions done, the satellite repair mission done and looking at starting on the EVE mission for our first interplanetary mission using KOS.